In the early days, Greece was settled in isolated pockets called city-states. Athens was one of these city-states. Between 2000 BC and 800 BC, these city-states were ruled by monarchy, meaning one person. That person being chosen by the people themselves. These kings would make laws, act as judges, perform religious ceremonies, lead armies in times of war, and also had aristocrats to advise them. These aristocrats, however, had no real power, and so it's not surprising that after a while, the aristocrats overthrew the government and took power for themselves, turning into an oligarchy. Power by few. The aristocrats were wealthy landowners who, in the most part, ignored the poor and passed laws that served themselves, making the rich richer and the poor poorer. The poor then turned to strong leaders who promised to improve their lives. These were mainly military men who then took power by force, called tyrants. Most tyrants managed to at least change laws that helped the poor, though there were some who ruled most harshly. Until 507 BC, when the Athenian leader Cleisthenes introduced a system of political reform called Demokratia, rule by the people. Cleisthenes changed the political organisation from the four traditional tribes based on family to ten tribes based on area of residence. From here, representatives were chosen for the Vuli, a council of 500 men who served for one year, picked by a random lottery. The Vuli did most of the hands-on work of the government and it also decided which matters would be presented to the second institution Cleisthenes implemented, the Ecclesia. The Ecclesia, or Assembly, was the sovereign governing body. Any member of the Demos, citizens whose parents were Athenian citizens, male and over the age of 18, could attend the meetings of the Ecclesia about 40 times a year. Debates here were resolved by a majority vote, sometimes by a show of hands and others a closed ballot. The third important institution was the Dicasteria, the courts, Every day, more than 500 jurors were chosen by lot from male citizens over 30. Jurors were paid for their work so that the job could be accessible to all and not just the wealthy. These three institutions were a bold move toward a fair system of government never before seen. And though this democratic rule did not survive more than 200 years in ancient Greece, the ideals and processes have been influencing politicians and governments ever since.